like you're still short about $3. Oh, um, are you able to just cover it? No. <laughs> Seriously? All right, let me see if I got anything in here. Hold on. No worries, take your time. Psst, she doesn't know I know this hack. I'll just take one of these. Okay, uh, how much did you want to put on the gift card? Um, wh whatever the max is for that. Looks like the max is 500. Let's do 500. Okay, uh, so then your total is $503. Perfect, and you should already have my card. Uh, I don't think you gave me your card. Yeah, no, the gift card. Well, y you have to put money on it before you can spend it. Uh, there's $500 on there, so swipe away. This isn't just free money, and even if you spent $500 for the card, you would still owe the $3. Was this your first time using a gift card? You just swipe it. <sighs> she doesn't know I know this hack. Get out. Excuse me, I just gotta get to that seat right next to you. <sighs> Thank you, I appreciate it. I was hoping nobody was gonna sit here. Oh, sorry. Do you mind turning that down? Excuse me? I can't have you blasting that thing in my ear the whole flight. I can't do that. I don't even have anything turned on yet. Well, please just be considerate of the people around you. It's very rude. I, I don't think you'll be able to hear it over the airplane. Do you mind moving your arm, please? Um, sorry. I do require two armrests. Of course you do, whatever. So, are you Catholic? No. Oh. <clears throat> Shh, please, I'm trying to sleep. Do we have a problem? Hi folks, can I get you something to drink? I'll have a croissant. Oh, well, we actually don't have croissants on this flight. Shame on you. I'll take a triple whiskey. Do you have an appointment? Yes, for nine o'clock? Okay, um, nine o'clock tomorrow? No, for this morning, I'm just running a little bit behind today. Oh, okay, yeah, you're six hours late for that appointment, so unfortunately I'm not, well, I mean, you know how it is with all the traffic and whatnot. Right, are you from out of town? No. Oh, okay, well now that it's three o'clock, I'm not gonna be able to squeeze you in today, but I'd be happy to reschedule for you. No, 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 but I had an appointment. Right, I, I do see that, it's just that you missed that appointment. Um, no I didn't, I'm here now, it's the same day, what's the problem? I don't have availability. Excuse me, your time management is not my problem. I could say the same for you. <laughs> Okay, so let me get this straight. I make an appointment, I drive all the way down here and you can't even be a little bit flexible? Yeah, I'm sorry, we're fully booked today. Are you serious? I'm I'm going to scream. Ma'am, that is completely your prerogative, but it will not change the outcome. No, I'm gonna do it. I'll just call the police. <laughs> what is the app I can download so I can access the classroom cameras? Oh, no, we don't have any cameras in this classroom. Excuse me? Well, by fifth grade, we just don't feel it's necessary. The students are pretty independent. Then how am I supposed to keep an eye on my billium? Oh, well, I can assure you he'll always be under someone's supervision. There's always a teacher around that he- Okay, but how am I supposed to approve of what you're teaching him when I can't access the classroom to see what it is he's being taught? Well, we do upload all of his assignments ahead of time online if you wanted to go through that. And as a parent, I do not have time for that, which is why it's more convenient for me to do it this way. Right, well, you could always talk to your child and ask what he learned in school that day. <laughs> I just don't understand what the big secret is. Why can't the parents be more involved? You're welcome to homeschool your child. No, I have Pilates every Wednesday. I just can't make that work, no. Right. As an educator, you should be really doing what's best for the parent. And the kids too. And is it just the two of you today? Uh, for right now, yes. Okay, did you have more people coming? Yeah, but just a few more people, it's no big deal. Perfect, do you know about how many in your party? Um, about 23. Excuse me? Uh, 23? You see, my son Aerosmith here is having his birthday party, so we invited all his little friends and the parents, so we have about 23. It's a full house. <laughs> right. Well, in that case, it, it will be a bit of a wait. What? Well, we don't have availability for 23 people at the moment. That doesn't make sense. You were about to just sit us with two people. Right, because I do have room for two people, just not... 23. But I brought a balloon. Next time if you make a reservation, we can make sure something is available. Okay, so I'm supposed to update you on every decision I make ever? No, but if you're expecting to sit immediately with 23 people, you're gonna have to let us know. I don't think throwing some tables together is that big of a deal. I can physically put tables together, but no one's gonna come serve you. Fine, then can I make a reservation for right now? No. Are you open? Yep, you ready to check out? No, I'm wondering if the store is open. Yep, they open signs on the door. <laughs> well, I'm just asking because I tried to come yesterday, but you guys were closed. Oh yeah, we were closed for the holiday. Hmm, must be nice. Yeah, it was. Were you ready to check out? Not really sure. I wanted to buy something yesterday, but you guys weren't open. Okay, well, you're welcome to buy it now. Well, honey, this is the consequence of not being open and available to your customers on regular business hours, because now I don't want to buy anything. Well, we also have our online shop and you can access that 24 seven. No, 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 that was closed too. The website? Yes, I tried to go on there and it said no internet connection. Right, okay, well, I'm sorry about that. If so how are you gonna make it up to me? I can check you out right now. Well, can't you apply an inconvenience discount? No. So you're just willing to lose my business? Yes. My name is Sam, I'll be your server for today. Cool hair, I like that color. Oh, thank you, I actually just did it. 
Oh, cool. My niece would love it. Oh, well, she sounds awesome. Can I get you guys something to drink? Oh, are you sure I'm not interrupting something? What? Oh, well, I know that you two were just having that little intimate conversation, so don't let me interrupt. Don't mind me. Carol, please don't do this again. No, 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 no. Apparently her hair is more important than my drink order, right? So just keep talking about your hair. I really want to hear about it. <sighs> I'd be happy to take your drink order now if you'd like. Does your manager know that you put the dyes in your hair and it's around food? Actually, they're pretty lenient on the hair color. Our manager literally has blue hair, so... <laughs> oh, no way! That's really... Disgusting! It's... Ew! <laughs> okay, so how about that drink order? I feel like I can smell your hair. I don't know what that means. <coughs> it smells like marinara sauce. This is an Italian restaurant. That's supposed to be an excuse? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a lot of tattoos you got there. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, I just... I never understood why someone would want to do that to their own body. Well, you know, ink isn't for everyone, so... Wow, I can't imagine how someone like you gets a job with your arm looking like that. Well, actually, because you see, I'm a hiring manager and I wouldn't even interview you if you walked into my office looking like that. So I'm just curious. No, actually, I'm a content creator. Oh, well, I'm sorry to tell you that those things are still going to be there when you decide to get a real job. Yeah, I really appreciate that advice. Uh, look, the line's moving. <laughs> Don't you think you're setting a bad example? I mean, how old are you? You look so young. I'm a bad example. You don't even know me. I'm just trying to buy a Red Bull. So um, this is... <laughs> Really weird conversation. Okay, there's no need for an attitude. I'm just asking questions. Yeah, just please don't. Look, the line, it's moving. If you don't want people asking about your tattoos, you shouldn't have gotten them. Oh, that's not a thing. That's not a rule in society. You have a bad attitude, and I, I want you out of my face. Are you, like, not gonna buy anything? Like, the door is that way. You could just, you know, no one's keeping you here. You're not a hostage or anything. <laughs> Excuse me, I have an important phone call to make. So I don't like my house. We got a call about a public dispute. Do you have the freaking cop right now? Yes, that is her, officer. What the hell? No, I'm looking for the woman that called in. We have a warrant for her arrest. What? Yeah, a lot of unpaid parking tickets. Wow, what a horrible example you're setting. <laughs> no, 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 wait. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, thank God. It looks like there's someone selling illegal contraband in my neighborhood, so I just need someone to come out here and take care of that. Thank you. Okay, do you mind giving me some more information about the situation? Yes, yeah, so when I was driving home from aerobics, I had an individual stop me and ask if I wanted to buy anything, and I was like, oh, I don't know, this seems kind of sketchy, but she insisted. She said she could even get me, like, a neighborhood discount or something like that, so needless to say, that it just seems a little odd. Okay, and what is it that they were offering you? That would be lemonade. Lemonade? Is that like a new term for crack? Oh, no, no, no. You see, my son is selling lemonade for school, so he's always out front making his cute little sales, but the little girl across the street decided she wants to sell the same thing, and I don't think she has a license, so... Wait, what? Basically, she's invading on our territory. She's selling the same product, and he can't make his sales, so how do we take care of that? Sure, let me just get some more information from you. Hello? So I heard that uh, Billiam had to sit out during recess today, so uh, I just wanted to know what happened there. Yes, yeah, so he was actually hitting other students out there with sticks, so we just had him sit out for five minutes so we could just go over playground expectations. Aw, well I really wish you would have called me first so I could have talked to him. Oh, well we were in the middle of recess, I didn't pull out my phone. Uh -huh. Well, so for our family specifically, we don't, we, we don't believe in discipline. It's, he doesn't like it, I don't like giving it, it's too many tears, and I don't like to see him upset. So next time if you could just call me or just ignore it. I understand that, but when he's in my classroom, I'm responsible for him and everyone else, so I need to make sure everyone is safe, so when rules are broken, there are consequences. Yeah, but like, as a teacher, it's not really on you to, you know, determine how to handle his behavior. Oh, when he's in my classroom, it absolutely is. So you just get to smack my kid around and I don't get to say anything? I've never put my hands on any child. Okay, well, from here on out, he has my permission to use those sticks. And what happens when he gets hurt? Well, that's on your watch. Hey, everybody. Hey, Sam. Has it been busy today? Uh, not too bad. <clears throat> Cool. I'm gonna go put my stuff in the back and I'm gonna clock in. Can I ask a question? Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me one moment. I'm gonna go clock in and then- My question is not about clocking in. Okay. I'm just curious as to why you're having this improfessional conversation in front of a customer. Improfessional? Talking about how you don't like the customers here and how you hate working here and you put your dirty bag all over my food. It's all over my food, so now I can't even eat that. Ma'am, I just got to work. Well, maybe work is what you should be doing because the steak is not cooked how I like it. Okay, and you can let your server know, or I can help you once I get back. And so what, I'm just supposed to sit here in the meantime? Yeah, isn't that what you were doing anyway? You know, you're just a... a bitch. Yes, and that is Miss Bitch to you, Karen. <sighs> so you can either wait, or you can get out. I'll wait. Okay. So sorry for your loss. Thank you. Hi, are you... were you Sam's mom? 
Yes. Okay, so sad. I just wanted to make you aware though that Sam actually missed a shift yesterday and we were expecting her to make it up by doing a double today, but obviously there are some circumstances that have come up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so would someone in your family, you know, maybe be able to cover? What? Well, you see, typically when we have a no-call, no-show, we have to terminate the individual, but that has kind of already happened to their life. So I just wanted to, you know, extend the invitation if anyone wanted to make some money. Did you just come to this funeral to find coverage for my dead daughter's minimum wage shift? Oh, no, 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 it's nothing like that at all. Seriously, I'm one of those nice understanding bosses because I could have written her up, but I didn't. So that's why I just want to see if anyone maybe would take her place. You know, there's actually an extra casket over there. Would you mind going and laying down in it? Hmm? Go sit down. Thank you. Hi, I just want to make you aware that my son is going to be sitting over there by himself while I run some errands. Okay, so if he needs anything, I told him he can come ask you and you'll be able to help him. Oh, well, I, I get off in 20 minutes, so I- Oh, that's fine. I don't really care who watches him, just as long as someone's keeping an eye on him over there. Okay, but how long are you going to be gone? He looks pretty young. Oh, it shouldn't be more than like three hours. Okay, ma'am, no one here is going to be able to be responsible for your child. No, 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 you don't have to do anything besides just make sure that he's okay over there. Right, but I can't babysit your child while I'm preoccupied doing a totally different job. No one here is going to be able- You won't even know he's there. He's very independent. Is there a reason you can't bring him with you? Because he's an absolute handful. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't. I just need you to make sure he doesn't get hurt or kidnapped. He has something to drink, just the easy stuff. Ma'am, I said no. Seriously, it's that big of a deal. You can't just do me a favor. Seriously, you can't watch your own child. You're rude. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. You're actually in my spot. What? Oh, well, I was here. I was in line and then I had to go grab something, but I saved my spot, so you're in it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you when I walked up. Right, because I was on the other side of the store. Okay, so you weren't here. Well, I, was, I saved the spot. Uh, excuse me, was this woman in line behind you? I have no idea. Okay, so no, I'm sorry, you can't skip the line. <laughs> well, you don't believe me? No, I believe you, it's just you can't claim a spot in line and then leave that spot. <laughs> okay. I can take who's next. Oh, yep, that's me, I just need to reach past this woman here. Excuse me? No, ma'am, I'm sorry, I have to ring this woman up before you. No, 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 I'm in front of her. What? I was here first. Then why are you behind her? Because I got in line, I got out of line, and when I came back, she was in my spot. Yes, that is how lines work. Excuse me, I'm in a rush and I only have one item. Can I skip you? No, are you kidding? Everyone, we are about to start our holiday gift exchange, so make sure you find the person you were randomly assigned and we can start swapping gifts. Patty, Janet, <laughs> I picked this one out especially for you. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> it's a, uh, oh, it's a candle. <laughs> how original. <laughs> well, I figured you could light it every time that you bring tuna for lunch and stinks up the office, so. <laughs> oh, how thoughtful of you. Of course, yeah. Well, go ahead. Ahead, open yours. Here you go. Wonderful. Let's see. <laughs> oh, a bottle of wine from CVS. Yeah, I remember how you like to suck them back when we go to those corporate luncheons. So I figured, <laughs> well, I have another one for you. Oh, you shouldn't have. Of course. You got me nails. Yeah. Guess I'll have to start building something. What for you to step on. <laughs> oh, wait. I have this one for you, too. That is so sweet of you. Is this a picture of you and my husband? Yeah, you're getting divorced, so happy holidays. Oh, you bitch. It's gonna be quiet this year in the house. You bitch. <laughs> Holiday homewrecker, I see. How we doing? Your food will be out shortly. Great, and when will you be bringing my hot towel? Your towel? Yes, the hot towels that are served before the gourmet meal. Oh, sorry, we're not that fancy. We don't have hot towels. Okay, but my, my hands are dirty. What am I supposed to do? Oh, well, our bathrooms are right over there if you need to wash your hands. Excuse me, that is unsanitary to go into a bathroom before eating. Right, well, we also have hand sanitizer up at the front. I am recovering from scoliosis. I don't need that anywhere near my body. <laughs> I am confused at that correlation, but no worries. I'm sorry, we just don't have hot towels. Okay. Are, are you taking my picture? Yep, and I'll be sending these over to the health department. Oh, okay. Server is refusing to give sanitary items in dirty restaurants. You know what, ma'am? I think we might actually have a hot towel in the back. Just give me one second. Thank you. God, this service here is... <gasps> Was that hot enough for you? I cannot stand this customer. Can you take her? Uh, sure. What's the problem? She can barely speak English. I can never understand her. I always have to get some sort of like translator. It's so annoying. Okay, what language does she speak? I don't know. I just get someone else to deal with it. Uh, ma'am, I can help you over here. Good luck. You're not gonna be able to understand anything she says. Hey, you remember that customer you said you couldn't understand? Yes, oh my god, did you have to like kick her out? No, in fact, I can understand her just fine because she does speak English. Yeah, but not very good because I can't understand it. 
Wow, that's crazy. Cause I could understand her just fine. Oh, so you probably speak another language. No, actually. And even if I did, that wouldn't necessarily mean that what I spoke would align with her language. There's thousands of languages out there, so. Thousands? Yeah, but English is the one that people know. No, no, English is just the language that you know. But in American stores, people need to adapt. Oh, you're that kind of ignorant. Got it. What? Be careful, this plate is very hot. Ow! Oh, you all right? No! Why is this plate scorching hot? It just came out of the oven. I have a third degree burn on my fingers now because of this plate. Can I get you some ice? No, but you can get me my lawyer. What? Well, clearly this is some form of assault here because I've never been this badly burned at a restaurant. Well, I, I did warn you it was hot. I don't see a disclaimer. I don't see anything telling me that I should know this plate is hot. I told you. Well, what if I was deaf? Well, if that's the case, you could have let me know and I could have made sure. To that's HIPAA. That's a HIPAA violation. I'm not, I'm not actually deaf, but I do know about HIPAA and I do know that you're not supposed to serve food this hot. Well, we don't serve our food cold. Personally, I just don't eat hot food. You could blow on it. My doctor says I'm not allowed to blow anything. Hmm, that explains why you're here by yourself. What? Sorry, ma'am, our store policy says we can't accept returns after 60 days. Well, now you're discouraging me from ever wanting to shop here again. I'm sorry. You will be. Please get a manager. I'd be happy to get a manager, but they're gonna tell you the exact same thing I just told you. I'm waiting. Of course you are. <laughs> can't believe I just had to ask twice. Hi, how can I help you? Yes, this person is refusing to let me return my item. Why can't she return the item? Well, because she's trying to return it after 60 days and since our policy- Oh, don't worry about that, it's okay. <laughs> Thought so. What? Well, sometimes it's just easier to give them what they want. A discount would be nice too. Of course, sorry for the inconvenience. Wait, I'm sorry, but why are we going against policy for this woman? Cause it's really just not that big of a deal. Then why do we do it? You should really listen to your manager, sweetheart. She knows what she's talking about. Thank you. Was there anything else I could do for you today? Is there any way that this employee just won't be here next time? We can move her to the back? No, she just won't be here at all. The customer is always correct. Did we need more time with the menu? Mm, what's good here? Oh, well, my favorite is the chicken marsala and the cheese steak. Ugh, I don't like those things. Okay, do you know what type of food you're in the mood for? Well, I asked you because I don't know what I want. Right, well, we do have our burger list right here. We have different types of sandwiches. We have pasta. I know I have the menu right in front of me. I can read. Okay, so I'm asking you what you think I should get. Uh, well, if you're not too hungry, you could always try one of our appetizers. My favorite. Is oh, no, no, I'm starving. I could eat anything right now. Okay, well, how about I give you a little bit more time to look everything over? No, thanks. Okay, do you know what you want? Can you just bring me some bread and some cheese on it? So like a grilled cheese or? Yeah, but just make it a little bit more fancy. Fancy how? I just wanna order, okay? It doesn't need to be this complicated. Okay, yeah, just tell me what you want specifically. Well, what would you recommend? Sir, I can take you right here. Um, hello? Oh, hi, did you need help finding something? I'm ready to check out. I've been standing at this counter for 10 minutes and you've been blatantly ignoring me. I'm sorry, ma'am, the line's actually over here. That counter isn't open. But I've been standing here. Okay, but you're not in line. These people have been standing and waiting in line. Well, no one said anything to me because I've been standing here for 10 minutes. And that counter does say it's closed, so. Well, can you call someone? No, I can't. I can take who's next. Oh, well, no, excuse me, ma'am, I'm next. Thank you. Ma'am, I will not ring you up until you get into this actual line. Well, I don't, I don't even know how to do that. Well, the line's right here, so you just look at it, find the back, and stand behind it. Can I just wait here? Sure, but I won't consider you in line. Okay, well, if you're not gonna ring me up, then I'm just gonna leave without paying. I literally don't get paid enough to care. This is line discrimination. By the way, lunch is on me. Are you sure? Uh, you got it last time, I got this one. Cool, thanks. Can I get you ladies something to drink? Yeah, can I get a sweet tea? <clears throat> okay, and for you? I'll just have a water, please. All right, and are you starting with an appetizer today? Um, I don't know, what do you- No, no, thank you, we're good. Okay, I'll give you some time with the menu. Thank you. <clears throat> So, do you know what you're gonna get? Well, I was gonna do the ravioli, but since you got the sweet tea, I'll probably just stick with the tomato salad. Wait, what? I just don't wanna go crazy. <laughs> oh, I can just cover myself. It's really not a big deal. No, no, it's okay. Are we ready to order? Yeah, I'll, um, I'll just have the house salad. <clears throat> okay, do you want chicken on it? Uh, sure. Got it, and for you? Well, I guess I'll just be having the seeds. What? Seeds. What kind? Get the seeds. Okay. I don't have to eat. No, 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 seriously, no. I actually closed 30 minutes ago, so if you have anything you need me to check out, I can do that right now, otherwise we're- Uh-oh, I'm glad I made it in before you locked it. Right, well, we did stay open a little bit longer so you could get your stuff, but it has been half an hour, so I don't really like to shop on a time limit, so I'll let you know when I'm done, okay? No, no, I'm sorry, we don't have anyone that can stay in the store to keep it open for you. You're here. Yeah, but I'm actually on overtime. I was supposed to leave 30 minutes ago. Well, the last time I was here, they kept the store open for me. Okay, well, I'm telling you that I, I can't do that. Well, I don't mind being here by myself, so if you just wanna go wait in your car or something. No, I can't leave you in the store alone. 
Why, do you think I'm gonna steal something? No, it's just a safety thing. <laughs> Is it so hard to work here? Excuse me? You're complaining to a customer about not wanting to work and then accuse that same loyal customer of shoplifting. I'm sorry, I certainly didn't. I need to speak to a supervisor. They're completely gone. Everyone is gone for the day. They have a cell phone. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna count to three. Hi there, welcome to- I was already here, I just have a question. Okay. I'm just curious as to how this place still operates when everyone here is so lazy, incompetent, and unfriendly. Excuse me? Well, I just got my order and walked all the way to my car to realize that you guys forgot napkins. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Here's a whole bunch. No, too late, because if I had my napkins already, I wouldn't have had to walk all the way back here to complain about this. Well, if you're not gonna take them, I'm not really sure how to help. So I'm just wondering how it's possible that this place still runs when you can't even appropriately fulfill an order. Was there something wrong with your food? There's always something wrong with the food. Can you be more specific? What does that have to do with anything? I came in here to talk about napkins, not food. So please stop trying to distract me. Okay. Oh, you think this is funny? I suggest you wipe that smirk off your face before I smack it off you. Ma'am, if you touch me, you won't be welcome back to this establishment ever again. <sighs> Are you threatening me? Okay, don't look at her, but there's a customer over there that we have to keep an eye on. Okay, and how do I keep an eye on her but not look at her? Just make sure she doesn't shoplift, okay? Does she do it often? Yes, every single week she comes in here and steals the same thing. Baby food and diapers. It's so annoying. Yeah, it's like she's almost desperately trying to feed and take care of her family. Hey, we all got problems, right? But I'm not out here stealing, so. True, but you also live with your parents and you don't pay rent and you don't have children and you only work part-time, so I don't think you can really compare. Uh, you don't know my situation, okay? Just when she checks out, make sure you question what's in her bag. No. Uh, this is your job. You can't let people steal from the store. My job description is cashier, not security guard. It's in your contract. No, it's not. Well, it will be added to your contract, so I need you to start doing it now. And what happens if I do catch her stealing? Am I supposed to hold her down? You call the police. I'm not gonna get someone arrested for wanting to feed their child. Well, then you're fired as cashier or security. Good morning, welcome to- Uh, it's not morning for me. I just ended my shift, which means I ended my day. So good evening to you. Anyway, what can I get you? Steak and cheese sauce. We're actually only selling breakfast right now. Hello? Fine, then I'll have a milkshake. That's considered lunch. Get me a coffee then. Will that be all? <laughs> What's taking so long? Here, that'll be a dollar fifteen. Thank you. <clears throat> well, have a good night. Well, now that I've had my coffee, I'm awake. I'm not going to sleep. Okay, so good morning to you too. Have a nice day. My day already happened and it wasn't nice at all. You should be more considerate of the nocturnal. Hi, welcome to- Can I get the mozzarella sticks, the nachos, and a chocolate milkshake? Thanks. Wow, that's a lot of food. Oh, I know, and I'm gonna eat all of it too. I'm so hungry. Oh, so random. Remember last summer when I was trying to lose weight? No. Well, I ran into my old personal trainer the other day and I just thought, just now, randomly, that maybe I could give you her number. No, I'm okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I just know that when I gain weight, I get a little self-conscious, really embarrassed, and I have a hard time asking for help, so I just figured maybe that's what you were going through. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm just hungry. Wow. Good for you. I wish that I could be as brave to just eat anything and not care what I look like. I don't think I'm brave, I'm just hungry. But seriously, if you ever wanna go over, you know, what I eat in a day or just some sort of diet routine, just let me know. Cool, I'll let you know. Yeah, cause you know my wedding's coming up and I just want the photos to look good. I'm sure. Just want everyone to look their best. I'm not gonna change my lifestyle for your wedding.